The Raw Show. Well, you got to take the good with the bad. There was one absolutely horrible segment. And one segment, I don't care. I don't care about any of you. I loved it. And I think he's the best new character in all of WWE. Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> so we shall get to here. Hey, it opened up with a good match. Kevin Owens came out. Bloodline destroyed everybody. They're beating up blokes at ringside. Security guards, they get beaten up. Kevin Owens comes out. Adam Pearce comes out. The locker room empties. They finally get rid of these bloodline geeks. But then Pearce says, hey, you're here? Well, I'm going to put you to work. And they get signed for matches later on in the evening. They showed, they showed a guy at ringside called Hardy. Hardy. Oh, God. Uh, I hope he's not in the Royal Rumble. He's so famous uh, that he can go by just Hardy. Hardy. Not Ed Hardy. Not Jeff Hardy. Not Matt Hardy. 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 All right. Well, anyway, he's there. And he's going to be singing at the Royal Rumble. Mm. Hardy. Hardy. Cool. Hey, how, how much did he pay for this role? Dom, you're a young person. Do you know who Hardy is? No, I do not. Is this an Atlantic Records Bro, deal? Bro, he ain't that young AOL? anymore, Mike. He's catching no. up to us. Hardy. We had Bianca versus Alexa Bliss. Man, I hate... You know what's funny is like... I've given this speech a thousand times. All of these hardcore fans of women's wrestling... What they demand is equality, okay? Yet when I review these matches with nothing but fairness, I am lambasted for it. Alexa Bliss, God bless her. I'm sure, I'm sure she is a wonderful person. She was horrible in this match. She was missing spots left and right. She threw a forearm early that missed by five feet, at which point Corey Graves had to say, don't think she connected with any of that. Then she uh, she's supposed to be taking a series of body slams, and she takes his body slam, and Bianca literally puts her hands on her knees, and she's two feet from her, and she screams, Get up! And Alexa has to scurry to her feet. She hits her with another one. She hits her with another one. Now she's supposed to go for a hand, handspring, uh, you know, standing moonsault. And Alexa's totally in the wrong spot. And Bianca hits the ropes. She stops. She boots Alexa. <laughs> Don't move. Now she has to hit the other ropes did the move. I'm like, bro, uh, listen, what is going on here? What is going on? This has been an ongoing thing. And at first it was like, oh, it's part of her character. Oh, her character doesn't care. What's happening? So then, as if the match isn't bad enough, then Alexa's outside the ring and she sees some bloke in an Uncle Howdy mask. Then she sees another bloke in an Uncle Howdy mask. By the way, this match went 18 minutes, so... We watched 16 minutes of bad wrestling to get to this. She gets in the ring, and uh, and Session Moth Martina shows up on the screen. She goes all nutty. She attacks the referee. Like they don't even ring the bell, by the way. Like, after nope. the commercial, Corey has to go, Well, fans, you know, for all the fans that, like, write down, you know, for moonsault.de or whatever that site is, it gets all the, Well, it was a disqualification. Make sure we got it for the PWI records. And she beats up the guy, and then she beats up Bianca. And then later, bro, after 17 minutes, where she got distracted by two geeks in masks, and then went all nutty and beat up a ref, they do an angle later, and she goes, that, that title's mine. I, a grown, a grown-ass man... I am supposed to be interested in seeing another match between these two after that. This was the bottom of the barrel. 
And it actually was the bottom of the barrel on the show. It was all better than that. No bants for you from Session Marth Martina. It's a uh, damn. What? They, a, dude, a moth appeared on the screen, so I gave her a shout out. Mm. Now I'm the bad guy. Anything else? Should I have mentioned uh, who was who was the moth on uh, Lucha Underground? Marty, the moth. Marty. <laughs> I could have mentioned him, but I thought about equality, and now I got yelled at for it again. Man, Jeff Cobb doesn't have anything to do. Maybe he'll show. Where up is that Ocon's guy, by the way? Where's Marty know. the Moth? Where's Ocon? I need Ocon and Cobb to do something. Come on, Rumble's just not enough. Then we had uh, Solo Soko and Elias. They gave him 15 minutes, and listen. It wasn't, like, great, but, dude, if they would have done a singles one-on-one -on -one match, I'd have been even more mad than the previous match. But at least they made this a Music City street fight. So they hit each other with tambourines, and they bonked each other with cymbals, and the fans got into gimmicks. And then, uh, you know, Elias took a spinning uranage into a piano, which then collapsed and got pinned. It was fine. It was fine. I'd go as far as say it was almost a little bit good for a while there. We had Sami Zayn and the Usos against the Street Profs and Kevin Owens. 12 minutes. Good match. Poor Montez Ford didn't want to be out there. And even though 50 nerds came out at the beginning of the show and they all wanted to fight the bloodline, they still sent this poor guy out there as his wife is being taken to the hospital. And he's all morose. But finally they tag him and he runs wild. And then there's a series of distractions, of course. He gets, uh, he knocks Jimmy off the apron, but then he gets booted by Sami Zayn and pinned. They proceed to beat him down afterwards. Sheamus and Drew McIntyre will get a tag title match on Friday. They run out, they make the save. Good segment. Not a good segment. Dexter Loomis defeated Chad Gable. You know, a, a, a announcer, Mike, is supposed to have credibility correct yes because it's their job to sell you on the product yes so they must have credibility yes okay i realized Corey graves had to retire and everything like that although apparently he's cleared now but when a grown man tells me that he is creeped out because dexter loomis does down dog in his matches i'm sorry or up dog whatever it is uh, you've lost all credibility with me why is this creepy He's walking around on his hands. Have you never watched gymnastics? Why are you scared of this? Nobody cares, as usual, because no normal human sees a man walking around on his hands in, in uh, a seal stretch position and is scared. You've never been in New York, pal. God. And then uh, he beat Chad Gable. He countered a cradle. Not a fan. So they're actually doing a countdown to the return of Cody. They're actually not going to do a surprise return. They are counting down his return. And so we got the first, the first video package here. It was uh, highlights from WrestleMania last year. And, and his, road, his road continues here to this company. The roads to the top. Yeah, the roads to the top. Exactly. Then we had uh, Damage Control and Becky. They're uh, making fun of Becky and everything like that. So uh, because, uh, you know, I guess Bailey doesn't have her gear and the other two do, uh, Becky challenges the two of them to a one-on-two -on -two match. Hmm. Well, that's dumb. As it turns out, it is dumb. They're beating the hell out of her. And so finally, Mi Chin runs out to, uh, to get on the apron. Becky gives her the hot tag. They uh, end up doing a normal tag match. And in the end, Mi Chin is pinned... By uh, EO Sky. What was that name again? Which makes Becky very upset. Mi Chin. Okay. They said that name 3,000 times last night. Mi Chin? Yeah, that's what they said. That's maybe as many times as they said WWE superstar for Shinsuke Nakamura in that match with Muda. Well, you know, as Vince McMahon used to say, I like branding. Happy for you. I'm happy and you like boots, branding. Spas. Maybe now that you're uh, forced out of the company you founded, you could go uh, be a rancher. Do all the branding you want. VKM. Burn it on them cows. Double That'll give you something ranch. to do, brother. My horse is sick. And we have the greatest video package of all time. Dominic Mysterio, everybody. 
<laughs> if you missed what happened, Dominic Mysterio showed up with Rhea at a Christmas party, uninvited. And uh, and he was, you know, he wasn't supposed to be there. And so they called the cops. There was a melee. And Ray's wife tried to slap Dom. Rhea grabbed her hand, I think. And then, anyway, Rhea got slapped, so she's mad. But the cops show up, and they, they arrest Dom. So Dom is in the back of the cop car, and he's begging. He's begging his mommy. Not his actual mommy. His mommy. Rhea. With an eye. Please don't let me go to jail. I'll never survive. I'll never, I'll never, I'll never survive if I'm, if I'm placed in the clink. Please call Finn and, uh. Damien. And Damien. Finn and Priest, I believe he called him. One yes. first name, one last name. <laughs> and then Rhea, he doesn't even call her by her name. Oh my God! He's a weird kid. In. Sixty days in and thirty minutes with this. So thing. anyway, they announced that uh, he's virtually immediately bailed out by Rhea Ripley. <laughs> so uh, he spent thirty minutes in county jail. Well, now he has done a video, and uh, he is a hardened criminal. <laughs> Prison, he says. Prison. 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 Prison changes a man. I've served hard time, he says. And he starts chewing on his toothpick. I'm dying. <laughs> I am dying. Oh, he is the greatest, aside from Sami Zayn, he is the greatest character in WWE right now. <laughs> Dominic Mysterio, the heel who is now a, his whole career, he's now nails. He's literally, he's nails. White meat, he's the baby hardest, face. toughest wrestler yeah. because he served time in prison. <laughs> he went and got a mugshot and fingerprints and had to sit there for a little bit across from a drunk because that's about all that really happens there in county. And then he comes out of it with a teardrop tattoo. I, uh, you know what? I was wrong. I was wrong thank about the you. repackaging of thank Dominic Mysterio. You. I thought this would end up being something along the lines of, of David Flair being a crazy man. But you know what? Hardened criminal Dominic Mysterio is incredible. It's the greatest. It's, it's fantastic. And when he runs back into his father's and real mother's arms one day, it's going to make it even better. Absolutely amazing. Then the main event was Austin Theory beating Seth Rollins to retain the U.S. title. Seth injured his knee, and uh, after a ref bump, he got kicked in the uh, yarbles, as we used to call it in the YWF, and uh, hit with the chop block to the bad leg, a town down, pinned, and they uh, carted him out afterwards. So I think they may be doing a short-term injury angle with Seth Rollins on top of that. But uh, Austin Theory retained the title in the main event. Hey, it was a great main event. Seth Rollins is great. His gimmick sucks, but as a wrestler, dude, he's awesome. And they had a really, really good match, and uh, and that was the end of Raw. So the highs and lows of Monday Night Raw. And with that, Dom, I will take myself to break as we have run over time here on Wrestling Observer Live. But did you know that in January, WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a... Pitch black match. Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew apparently has a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's It would be like if the match was like this for 10 minutes, and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike. Stop it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.